Hello YouTube, this is Kearney from Kearney.com This is my Neverwinter Let's Play series I'll be playing the character all the way through to um, Endgame on this series So, let's see what's happening here New character I'll be playing on the Dragon server There's only three servers at the moment And the uh, horrendous queues seem to have disappeared after the latest patch Which is all well and good There we go, it was a nice intro. I'll be playing a uh, cleric. So, and I think I'll be playing a dwarf cleric as well. I can play half orcs, humans, elves. Look quite good. Half elves. Coming soon character, which is probably a um, a character you unlock with money, possibly a, dr a drow. I think they said would be coming soon. So 
there with tiefling. Halfling. And dwarf. They all have um, racial abilities. Now, which I won't be going over at the moment. Um, I'll be trying a dwarf. And of the classes, it'll be a cleric, but let's just have a quick look at their different types. Trickster Rogue. Cleric. Control Wizard. I preferred it if they didn't put those words in front. It takes away from the immersion a little bit, but great weapon fighter. Guardian Fighter. And a coming soon tab. Right, so we'll pick a cleric. Now you've got um, some dice rolls you can make here, but they're just preset rolls. I've noticed they follow the same certain um, preset numbers, so it just basically works out for a dwarf. I've got an ability where I can either have plus two constitution plus two strength or plus two constitution plus two wisdom wisdom. Now, as I don't actually use a melee weapon and wisdom is my primary stat, I'm gonna go with wisdom. Now I don't think strength's gonna matter for that, but we'll see. Now the highest you can normally roll is an eighteen, but with my plus two, which means I get the maximum I could roll is a twenty. So we're looking at a twenty here. If I re-roll. And there you go, there's the preset. 10, 10, 10, 13, 13. So let's move on. Now. We'll go with that preset and customise it. Find his armour. Head shape. We've got some nice options. I'll go with lean. No, we'll go with natural. Hair, we'll have no hair. I don't like any of those looks. The eyes. Nice effects, but I don't want those permanently on my character. We'll stick with natural. Eyebrows, have to be bushy for a dwarf. Facial hair, epic beard, sounds good. I think we'll go with the uh, Dwarf beard. Change the colour. No, I don't want it too dark. Let's go with the uh Let's go with that one. Complexion. Worn will do, I think. Or the worn warrior. Oh dear me. Leave that alone. Skin colour. Tattoos. There's a large variety there. But I will be going with. Great worm. do 
scars. I don't think we'll do any scars. Face scaling, I'm not going to play with that. Seems to be quite a lot of variation. Body shape. Now, I should really go heavy, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go default. And the scaling, I won't play with that. I'm happy with that. Continue. Now, this selection here has no effect on gameplay and is for flavour only. Well, I don't mind flavour. Now, my deity aff affiliation is going to be Moradin because that's the Dwarven God. As anyone who's played Forgotten Realms will know. That also gives me a title of Moradinian. If I choose to show it. Now, I'll come from... I didn't notice a dwarf background on here, and I haven't played Forgotten Realms for so long or looked at the source book, so I will go with the Dale Lands. Sorry, I'll go with. Um, I think we'll go with Baldur's Gate, Flaming Fist Mercenary. Now, all looks good. Let's be an adventure. You can see there there's a trail at the moment showing us where to go. I'm just going to pause it right there while I just change some in-game key bindings. Be right back. And we're back. Just change some key binds. As you can see there's the uh, little line guide that some people like or dislike. I'm going to turn it off but I don't need it for the moment. Let's carry on. Thank the gods. When I saw the Dracolich attack the ship, I was afraid there'd be no survivors. What brings you to Neverwinter in such troubled times? Adventure? I can guarantee. Riches? Up to you. As you may have noticed, Neverwinter is under attack. The necromancer Valendra is assaulting the city with her undead legions. Plenty of opportunities for an aspiring adventurer to make a fortune. Search the wreckage along the shore from the pier. It's dangerous to go unarmed right now. When you finish, head up to the camp at the top of the hill. They've got a nice warm fire up there. You'll feel better once you've dried out. The quest path leads to your next objective. Press C to toggle it on and off. Waypoints appear on the map to mark your quest objectives. Press F to interact with characters and objects. I won't be talking over cutscenes when we do this let's play. I'll also give you enough time to hear all the dialogue from the NPCs as well. Any um, lore that I come across I'll um, have on the screen. You can always pause that and I'll get it up if you want to have a longer period of time to look at it. Okay, it's F to search the wreckage from the ship we've just come in on. Take the chainmail vest. Inventory. 
Double click an item to equip it. Bad holy icon. Let's equip that. Press the old key to toggle mouse cursor and mouse loop moves. The quest tracker displays current quest objectives. You have an inspect mode with the B button, which is a little bit strange, but you can get used to it. Which is like mouse look in every other MMO. Well, just about all of them. There's me with my um, new chain vest and my holy symbol. Okay, it's come out, let's press B. Let's carry on. Toggle the path, you can see where we have to go, in case anyone didn't know. Basically, we've been shipwrecked on our way to Neverwinter, which is over there. Oh, that's quite nice. Campfires or rest zones where out of combat players may heal. For non healers, in other words, worthless characters, um, that's their ghetto heal. We won't be needing that. Good to meet you. It's good to see someone survive the attack on the ship. When you feel ready, please speak to me again. I'm afraid I need your help. Although we stopped Valindra's main force, the battle is far from over. The battlefield is crawling with mindless undead who lost their masters in the fighting. To make matters worse, the enemy is raising our dead to use against us. Acolyte Naaman is performing a ritual of Kelimbor to lay the newly dead to rest. That is sure to draw an attack here. I must stay and make sure Naaman finishes her ritual. Could you search the battlefield for any wounded we missed and send them here? After you finish with the wounded, go to Del McCourt's camp and tell him our situation. Can do. Lance of Faith, Probably our first at will power. There's normally some enemies here, but it seems some players have been clearing them out. Let's move down a bit. There's a wounded soldier, needs our help. Thanks. Now, left click for our first at will power, which is a Lance of Faith. See your foe with a spear of golden light, and the third hit will deal additional damage. You can hold down the button, which makes it not smooth on your mouse. It's literally a case of just hovering over the enemies. targeting in there as well I noticed. Watch if I target slightly to the left. I don't know if that's actually in the options but we'll leave that for the moment. We were lucky to drive the Linda's Blood Guide displays back. everything you get for leveling up. It may also offer important quests. Thank you for aiding the wounded. They wouldn't have survived much longer with all the undead roving about. I'll try to get medical supplies and reinforcements to link later as soon as possible. Unfortunately, we've got problems of our own here. I'm afraid I have a gruesome task, buddy. We've driven Valindra's main army off, but our red wizard allies are still harassing us with summoned undead. Private Hothidorn is trying to drive them off with his archers, but they're short on ammo. Search the battlefield and scavenge some arrows from the dead, and then take them to Hothidorn. Will do. Now we've leveled up there. Let's find out what's new. 
brings up a little window which is quite helpful new at will power astral seal now the at will powers are basically my left and right mouse click sorry there they are now so my second ability is an astral seal in case you're enemy in an astral seal you or any allies striking the target will regain hit points good group ability by the sound of it another Astral seal foe, allowing you or allies to gain health from striking them. Alright, we need to pick up some arrows. Astral seal, and then blast them. Gave me a little heal as well. There's the drag, uh, Draco Lich. And the video. The intro. Oh, he's Makos, the main. I will answer your questions if I can, but do not break my concentration. Valindra had a Dracolich under her control when she attacked Neverwinter. It attacked ships in the harbor and then came straight for the city. My friends and I were helping Sergeant Knox defend the walls when it attacked. There was a terrific battle, and we were able to defeat it. I don't know how Valindra got a Dracolich. Perhaps a deal with the cult of the dragon. The important thing is that we deprive her of it. When a Dracolich is killed, its spirit returns to a special phylactery. From there, it can possess the body of another dragon and be reborn. This Dracolich's spirit has not departed yet. I am trying to bind it here. If it cannot return to the phylactery, we may be able to destroy it and deprive Valindra of a powerful ally. Good luck. Right, Astral Seal right click. And then blast them. Quite easy enemies at the moment. I'm going to respawn arrows. One more set of arrows and we'll have collected enough. See where that's suggesting we go. That's saying go this way. Actually, if we look on the radar, it is that way. Blast them. I think these are the respawn points as well, the campfires. By the looks of it. Oh, what's going on up there? You found some ammunition. Excellent. Please place the arrows in one of the barrels near the archers. We must drive the wizards back. We must drive the wizards back. Thank you for the help. The Red Wizards haven't been driven away, but this will at least force them to keep their heads down. More undead are attacking Neverwinter. They're boiling out of Castle Never and storming the Sleeping Dragon Bridge. If the bridge falls, they will enter the heart of the city. Protect us, Enclave. I must stay and deal with the Red Wizards. Please, go to the bridge and aid the defenders. Destroy the undead soldiers near the gate to our north so it may be open safely. Then talk to Private Wilfred. He will get you inside the city and show you the way to the bridge. Be careful. These undead are more aggressive than others you fought. Tempest grant you strength. More did I think. Now, we get an upgrade to our religious symbol. Excellent. Let's go and find Wilfred. All leveled up. New encounter. 
Sunburst. Okay, this is an encounter power. It's basically going to go on there. Now they set them to Q, E, and R. No, I don't like that. I've put them on 1, 2, and 3 because I've got a Naga mouse. So that makes it a lot easier for me. 11 second cooldown. 25 for AoE. It heals myself and allies. Does some damage. And there's a Divinity upgrade, but we don't get that for a little while. That's not till level 10. So it'll give some variation on the what the ability will do. So it'll allow them to be knocked away as well. Okay. Let's try it out. Let's see if we can get to the gate. Save Castle, save Neverwinter. Quite a powerful AoE there. It's about doing about twice the amount of damage I'm doing with my um, Lancers of Light. That's quite good, that. There's the gate. Oh. I wonder what's under there. quite smooth. Hello again. You're looking a good deal fiercer than when you washed up on the beach. Clothes are drying out by the fire would do you good. My mother always says warm clothes make for a warm heart. You've thinned out the skeletons enough that we should be able to slip through the gate safely. Linkletter gave me some healing potions for you. You may need them on the bridge. been placed on my little quick bar for items which I've set to 4, 5 and 6 with a Naga mouse. I put them on number 6, that's usually my heal button. What we got here? Venom bag. A separate slot for money. Uh, the crafting resources. And for any companions. Okay. 5 bag slots. Left click on a visible location to travel to it. Right, well here's the city. We're going to be going to Sleeping Dragon Bridge. They're in trouble! We must go to their aid! Go, Wilfred. Time to take out the trash. I don't have any direction to dodge away from enemy attacks. Dodge mechanic, double tap or shift. One direction. Unfortunately, his arrows don't have as much range as my religious abilities. What a shame. I have played the tutorial once before. I also remember that crate being there. Increases my deflect rate in a potion, healing, and an identification scroll. I need a scroll of identification. Right click an unidentified object and select Identify. Use the scroll and 
reveal the item stand. They just keep coming! Same technique. Seal and then light, last of light. Wilfred gets stuck in. Stop these undead. Oh, he's feasting on someone disgusting. Time for looking at the scenery. See the same. It does hold you in place when you use your abilities, which makes it a little bit more interesting. Oh! What in the night? Help. I've no idea, Wilfred, take her out. Leveled Potion. A new daily power that'll be my Q and E keys. Guardian of Faith. Oh, that's quite powerful. That's double the power of the A we were currently using, which is five or so times more powerful than my Lance of Faith. It knocks them down, makes them prone, and it will heal my allies. Excellent. And Healer's Law. That's basically a passive ability. Increases all my heals by 5%. Excellent. Scroll of Identification, and there's an Adventurous Chest Reward. Open at level five. Okay. The gatehouse. We're going to make it. Yes, we are. Oh dear. Valendra! Don't rush him, Wilfred. <gasps> Great. Oh dear, some little ads as well. Oh, Skeleton Slayer achievement. Let's try our power.
yet. Bigger than all the harder they fall. Oh no, Wilfred. Sorry. Should have been more cautious. But when I thought of all my friends who died because of her, find Sergeant Knox. Tell him what happened. Ask him to check on my mother from time to time. You have to stop her. Lord Never Ember is no saint. But he's better than the alternative. If Never Ember fails here, Valindra will rule Never Winter. Find Sergeant Knox. He's one of Never Ember's guards. One of the good ones. You must stop Valindra. He was a brave companion. For the short time he was with us. Okay, that's the tutorial over, and now we've entered the city proper. The main gate, anyway. Let's have a look at my little zone map. Now, our quest objective is Sergeant Knox. We're going to have a little run through the city to get there. Okay. Let's go. Marketplace, or thriving place. There's a mount, someone's mount, horse. Day, tiefling, tiefling. Ooh, a spider mount. At least it doesn't look too spidery. It can be quite gruesome, those spiders. Right, there's someone practicing for the show jumping. <laughs> someone needs to stop drinking coffee. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a nice companion pet we saw for there for a second. Getting a little bit distracted here. Let's have a look at the mouse. Oh, a winter wolf. Armored walk. Ooh. War horse. A light riding horse. And I think the uh, the highest tier one. What is that? An armored nightmare. View. It's all quite pretty. This 
before someone answered a question there, I was interested in the types of two handed weapons that are in the game. I've only seen two handed swords at the moment. So it well seems like the favor of the gods. great weapon fighters can actually get different weapons rather than just swords. I'm an honest fighter. Ah, my future plans. Once I become the ruler. I can address my citizens from. Oh dear. Not what king should be doing. The future king. Oh, it's gone too far. That must be the uh, throne room. We'll have a quick look in there while we're passing. Oh, I like the ambient sounds as well. A lot of games don't do that. Ooh. No respect. Nice little companion, the panther. Protectors Enclave needs your help. That's why I'm here. Wilfred is dead. Damnation. Too young to go out like that. I want to thank you for what you did on the bridge. We might have lost Protectors Enclave if the Harbinger breached the walls. Please, look at the chest behind me for a token of my appreciation. Symbol. Plus twenty five power, so upgrade. And we've got an unidentified item. Now the way that works is you as long as you've got scrolls of identification, you can just right click the item and identify. And we've got some boots. Better looking to be honest, but we'll sell them when we get the chance. Protectors Enclave needs your help. Oh, we lost a lot of good people today. The Harbinger appearing so close to the walls does not bode well for the safety of the Enclave. I understand you lost quite a few of your belongings when the ship you were on was destroyed by the Dracolich. I can't offer you much, but I can supply you with some off-duty clothing. I'm sure you're going to want to relax and get out of your combat gear at some point. Talk to Supply Sergeant Queen. He's just west of here, through that tunnel. He'll get you sorted out. Now can you give me some rags, basically, to replace the wealth I've lost? Sunday. Actually, <laughs> might not be. Hello, adventurer. I heard about what happened on the bridge, but you stopped the Harbinger. We all owe you a debt. Knox asked me to set you up with some clothes to replace those you lost. I'm afraid I don't have anything fancy, but at least they're warm. Take a look in the chest.
return to Sergeant Knox. Protector's Enclave needs your help. You're back. Good. I have some more work for you if you're interested. Certainly am. I've gotten a report about some disturbances in the vaults beneath the Hall of Justice. The guards are spread thin after the last attack, but you've proven yourself more than capable. So I'd like to ask you to look into it for me. I've told the gate guards you're coming. They'll let you into the vault. Let me get the belt. Okay. This is the Hall of Justice vault, and I think we'll call that it for this episode. That's been um, the intro, just to get me to level 4. Next episode we'll continue on with our adventures. Hope to see you then.